Welcome back to Wild Finds, where I look for thrift store scores. Mostly pick up media items, DVDs, movies, video games, stuff like that. I do like other stuff. It just seems like the media is what I'm best at finding. Everything 50% off. Nice. Wait, what? <clears throat> 10 for a dollar? Are they serious? 10 for a dollar? Awesome. So 10 cents each. Sweet. Oh, that's such a good deal. And it's not just ones that no one wanted to buy. They have like a new box of stuff that hasn't even gone out yet. So I kind of get to look through here. I already did look through it a little bit. They have like uh, all these music ones. Journey, Scorpions, Bee Gees. They have like these box sets right here. Seinfeld box set for 10 cents. Michael Jackson. Heck yeah, I found some metal Blu-rays. Dio, Metallica. Some more music ones. Found some pretty cool CDs right here. Dio, ACDC, Iron Maiden. That's worth 10 cents. That's worth 10 cents right there. Nice. Okay, did you, did you count them? I did not count them, so I got this whole box. I'm also interested in these depending on what the price is. Okay, give me a minute, let me count them. Um, sure is, go back to what you're doing. You don't have to do this like right now. Okay, um, take this whole box, put, count it for me, and then let me know how much it is. Because I am confused. Take this whole thing, count it there, and just tell me how many you got. You want to save yourself time when you do $20 for everything? What is it? For it. I'll do it for you, plus that. Okay. That's it. Appreciate that, very good. No so got all this stuff for 20 bucks. Great deal right there. My god, this right here, Lucio Fulci Zombie Pin Pack. Only 750 pressed lucky. At the Goodwill here. Then you can see them. Yeah. Why have to do it that way? Good point. As I've said many times, just at Goodwill, things are priced too high. This would be a good 50 cent VHS, but for $2, not really worth it. This is four bucks, this one called the Lex, but they like tape it shut. So by the time you open it, the slip cover is gonna be all ruined and stuff. So it's like barely worth that price. This is definitely a good find though. The real Bruce Lee video gems, yeah. That's pretty right there, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street box set, but it's missing part three, that's the best one. This is weird. They have a foreign language movie, anyone ever heard of this before? Looks pretty cool. Here at the Goodwill. Hope they got some good stuff. Oh. The door's broken. Ooh, it sure is a big boy in here. <laughs> they got these VHS, Buried Alive. That's an underrated horror movie right there. I like that a lot. Jennifer Jason Lee is in there, but I'm not paying $2.98. Also got this one. And this band is awesome, Drive-By Truckers. I like watching VHS movies with karate. Yeah. Did this really deserve a sequel? Going through the books, found a love note, possible misconnection here. To Alex from Christine. You can slow down the video, pause it, and read that if you want. Now this is actually a pretty good deal. Wireless mouse, 198. Here in Lakeland, Florida, the Southgate Shopping Center if you've seen Edward Scissorhands, this is used in the movie. This is the center that Winona Ryder likes to hang out at. And then Edward Scissorhands, he gets a job working at a salon, hairdresser place, right back here. So they now, they have a salon across the street, but that's not where Edward clipped the hair. It was right over here, which is just nothing. Protect your bagels. Put locks on them. Put locks on your bagels. That's pretty funny. Uh, it would make sense if that was a breakfast place, but it's not. It's a uh, dry cleaners. 
gonna check out this used record store called 360 Unlimited. I like the artwork on the building, nice. Golden Moldy's 45s, 20 for 99 cents. Wow, that's a really good deal. So 20 for 99 cents, I grabbed 40 here. Some pretty good groups like Bruce Springsteen, uh, B-52s, uh, Van Halen, uh, not bad. Two dollars well spent. This movie is intriguing. You got Ricky Schroeder there, the champ, John Voight. And uh, he's very upset. His dad uh, got knocked the heck out there. <laughs> We're back at Media Monday. Oh yeah, gotta love it, baby. Four for a dollar. Carol King buck set for a quarter, I'll take it. So nothing too crazy this time around. Gonna grab these for resale right here and these right here. These weird like inspirational ones can have value. Gonna grab these for myself. You, and this, are you getting all this stuff? Yeah, oh. and I'm getting this one, this guy right here. His name is Van Crotch. Oh, I never heard of him. Never heard of Van Crotch before? Oh, you're not getting everything. You're just getting a few things on top. Yeah. I can look through the records now. Of yeah. course. Okay. Salvation Army Family Store. Yeah, thrifting. Thank you. We're here and we're thrifty. That's the line? Oh no, they better not have anything. Look, there's Michael Waverin. What the heck are you doing at the end of that long line? What are you, nuts? You better have found gold. Oh, great, that's pretty good. Uh, Wilderness Lodge mug. Stop right now or get out of the store and I'm calling the cops. You can call Do not talk again. Stop. I, you can't tell me not to talk. You're not going to be... Take more time from your schedule and call the police. We're That's not, what you do. We're not going to check you out. You're being Sir, asked to leave. Call the police. Waste your time. And Go I will right have ahead. some trespassing. Go right ahead. Okay. You so important. Go right ahead. Now I'm a real big asshole. So these long lines are driving people batty. So we just got out of the car, Michael saw a $10 blowing in the wind and he ran and then and stepped on it. And look, there's $5 here. Free $5, free $5. I should have a YouTube channel that's just me trying to find money on the ground. I told you there was more. Heck yeah. You found more. Five bucks. Wow. Lucky. Mine's better. Yeah. Well. I get no bucks. Mike, we'll split it with you. <laughs> yeah, right. We have a bunch of cool Arrow video Blu-rays. Heck yeah. But they're expensive at $29 each. I already own this one. Hey, they have Hellfighters. No. This thrift store, they don't have a heck of a lot, so I'll just show myself doing this. Hey, what's up? Check out what I can do. Look, oh. look. Oh, cool. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yet another Goodwill. There has to be like a big Goodwill score at some point. Maybe today's the day. Look that up on your phone. That's what you tell people so that they waste time. So you can find the good stuff. <laughs> the Transformers! How much does $7. it cost? Seven dollars. That's too much, baby. That's just too dang much. So they have this at least kind of want to get it because I want to re-watch it. I just read the book recently and would like to compare it again to the movie. I'm gonna check out this place right here. I heard Roscoe Soul Train, who's another thrifter on YouTube, talk about this place. They have these out in LA and I guess they have them here in Florida, out of the closet. Hi, Dougie. <laughs> so
So they have a nice little selection of DVDs, Blu-rays, and CDs, but these prices are not good at all. DVDs are $3, Blu-rays six bucks, way too much. I would like to buy, say, this right here, if it was a buck or two, not paying six dollars. But the CDs are one dollar, so I found like some uh, PC games, King's Quest VI, Ultra Pinball, this random classical one that's worth a dollar for sure. So this is a good place for CDs at least. And I found the shirt that Roscoe's buddy Randy would like right here. Yeah. Luckily they take charge cards. Ooh, Michael, AKA the Quiet Storm. He got some $3 DVDs, Trog and this big four one. Here at the Goodwill, it says retail store. I don't want it to be a retail store though. I want thrift items. Yeah, so just regular thrift store. I was concerned because some Goodwills, they have new items and that does not interest me. Colt Cabana t-shirt. $10 for a Colt Cabana t-shirt. That's too much. Have you noticed that Keith Urban is the least urban guy there could be? They have the C. Thomas Howell movie. They have Fatal Fury on VHS. I didn't know they made a movie of that. Hmm. They have some DS games, but some scumbug came and stole them. Mario Kart DS. Mario Party DS. Ay, ay, ay. They have a King Kong Coca-Cola glass from 1976. That's pretty cool right there. Here at Taco Bell for some niblets. What's fun is you can basically say your name is anything and they'll say it. Belt. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm five years old. Here at a roadside yard sale. We've been to a bunch of yard sales this morning and haven't found a single thing. They do have some tapes here. Dragon Ball Z. How much are you asking on these? Uh, $2 each. $2 each? I'll give you like 50 cents each. I can do that. Okay, appreciate that. That was an easy negotiation. Went from $2 to 50 cents, no problem. So I said we went to a bunch of bad yard sales. Like this one, for instance. Here's the next one. Like, why bother? They call that a yard sale, sir. It's not even an inch. <laughs> That's a measurement joke right there. So we're at this mini little community yard sale. Hopefully they got some good stuff. They got some VHS, basically what you would expect. I doubt you'd find like three on a meat hook at the senior citizen community yard sale. <laughs> Fill a bag for 50 cents. Yeah. So that's like all of them? They all would fit in one bag, so what's the point? Just the whole bin, 50 cents. For the price, might as well pick up these Steven Seagal movies. Hello. Are you working? Yes. Yeah. So these are fill a bag for 50 cents, but the whole thing would basically fit in a bag. Can I just, can I give you a dollar and take the whole thing? Sure. Okay, appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. So lots of relaxation type CDs in here. Nothing great, but for a dollar for, you know, 25 CDs, you can lock these together and sell them. Blue skies. Now, if this was Mars, you'd be thinking, is this reality or is it an implant that someone remembered for me wholesale Arnold Schwarzenegger total recall. So in the back pocket of these jeans is Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, because I found it over there in the VHS section and I put it in the pocket. Not sure how much the VHS are though, but great flick right here. The towel of meow, Waldo, your pussy. I doubt that this cat actually wrote this book. Imagine if I riffed on riff. That'd be a good riff. 
I'm a big stand-up comedy fan. I'm actually gonna name my first sunroof and my daughter's gonna be called Encore. That's a unique vehicle parked in the care store parking lot. They have a small media section over here. Found this, Dean Martin sings country favorites. Really jumps in prices here, $51. And then this one sold for $17.99. Either of those prices are good for me, so I'll grab that, I'm gonna grab this, and gonna grab this. So that's it for this episode of Wild Finds. I appreciate you watching. So earlier in the video, we got all these. And uh, if you wanna watch me look through that, uh, you can go to my Patreon page. It doesn't cost anything to watch the video. This will be a free video, uh, but it's there if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Where are you, Juan? No, you're not, because I'm about to go fuck up everybody I can find. Find you, Juan. Juan's in big trouble.